Now because the uh, the mesh that we're using uh, uses a slightly different normal map and um, displacement map uh, we're just going to um, create a new um, normal plus alpha map for the high poly object. So I'm going to select um, the norm 1k poly and control click on uh, disp 1k poly and bring those in and this is the simple uh, process that we used before control A to select all, control C can close that out come to our um, normal map uh, create a new channel call it alpha and control V to paste that um, that alpha onto our channels and uh, there we go we can now uh, file save as and go to BMP and I'll go for uh, norm plus a underscore high okay so now we can come into UDK and I'm going to import uh, first the mesh okay and there's our mesh and um, while I'm here I'll also um, import um, our, um, our norm plus a underscore high bitmap and make sure that we set the compression settings to normal map alpha there we go now um, I'm going to take our material and I will create a copy of it and just suffix that with high uh, well not up there down here okay and now I'll open up this here using our new texture map I'm going to if I can just come in here okay there are two versions or two copies of this so I will hold down T and click here to bring in our new version of the map and I will delete that out and just make sure I know what I'm plugging into yeah and delete that out and make sure we've got these two copies of the texture sample plug this into this and this into normal and then plug the alpha into the height and there we go now this is currently applied to our old mesh so there might be some uh, little um, differences there so we can come down to here and we'll pick this static mesh come back to our material window and use that selected mesh and uh, now the reason for that is that because we imported this OBJ it's actually um, applying to uh, I'll just switch that back 
which is good enough. Um, it's actually applying to a different texture slot. So if you ever have that problem, you can come in here and uh, what we could do, I'm not sure if we could delete that out, but at any rate, uh, we'll come up to the uh, material, our, our high material, and we will plug that into texture slot 1, which is actually the second um, texture slot. And so there we go. So now, if we look around our object, we can see that we're getting quite a bit of distortion there based on our, um, our bump offset. And we could probably take that off because this is actually a um, uh, an object with those um, those ridges, those bumps, more or less applied, and so we can adjust that. And let's see. Okay. Come into the material editor again and just here on bump offset, I'm just going to take this back to more or less its default settings. So point five there. And here we're just going to take it to point 0.1, which is twice the default settings. I'll just save that and then check to see how that looks in the static mesh editor. And there we go, that looks a lot better. There is still some um, small amount of distortion, but it's the sort of distortion that we that we want to apply. And so it should should look pretty good in game. And so there we go. Now I'm just going to um, save this package. And um, what we might do is drag out a, uh, a few of these static meshes. In fact, um, perhaps instead of dragging them out, uh, we could come in here. And um, if we select hold down control and alt to drag out a rectangle. We'll select all of these and with our new static hang on that's the low version or is it? Where's our high version? That's that's the version that we want. Okay with that selected I'm just going to come in here and Okay, it's a little bit off screen, so replace with and uh, static mesh, that static mesh. So there we go. And so now uh, that's how it looks in our level. Uh, and I'm just going to perform a lighting uh, and rebuild. Don't know what that's doing up there. Uh, that's because I replaced the light with one of those. Uh, I'll undo that. I'll replace the lighting, rebuild this level, and we'll run through in the next video.